But this table I use for everything. Well, here we have essential oils, and we have coconut oil, we have pink salt, and I'm going to have to grab some sugar later because Isabella is going to make bath salt and sugar scrub. Oh my goodness. Yes, I like bath salts better because of the minerals from the pink salt that your body is like a sponge and it absorbs. With the sugar, that's great if you got a sunburn <laughs> or if you've just shaved or something, it's not gonna burn your skin, the sugar scrub. So it's that's good to know so how nice. to make both. Are you ready? Well, come on, sit down, sweetie. So what we're gonna do is take this little container and we're gonna fill that container up with some salt. And this is the pink salt and I use this for everything. It's good for the inside and it's great for the outside. Himalayan sea salt, lots of minerals. We're only going to make a small amount because I had already made a bunch a couple of weeks ago. So, okay, where'd my leg go? There it is. And Miss Isabella, can you see okay? Oh, yes. You can go ahead and pour that in there. Into the bowl? Yes. Go ahead and get a good spoon. Okay. You might need more than that, but go ahead and put that in, too. And this is just coconut oil. So I see it's organic. Uh, is that cold-pressed? Cold-pressed virgin. Nice. It smells like coconut. Smell it, it does smell like coconut mm -hmm. when nice. you get it raw like that. Yes. Cold-pressed organic. And we might need to add more oil or more salt. Yeah, we just play with it, get it to where we like it. Now, let me get... Yeah, it's good. Let's go ahead and pick out, oh, if you want to, um, to color it, make a little hole like that. Did you want food coloring in it? Sure. Okay. Here is um, a, a more of a red, and here is more of a yellow, but that's more pink. So, but those are the two choices I had handy. Um, normally, I actually would use food coloring. It works great. So you're putting a few drops in. You can stir it up with a fork or a spoon. I usually use a spoon. And then, of course, i got to get my hands in there, too. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. On my uh, hands. I can on smell it from here. It smells so wonderful. Feel this. If you like that, would, do you think you might need a little more salt? Yeah, a little Because it salt. feels a little wet. So, I guess you'll get a bigger jar. <gasps> Wow, that will be nice. Now, I use this salt. You can use any kind of salt. I don't. I used to use rock salt many years ago, but I like the more fine salt. Because yeah, that makes sense. It you don't you don't if, especially if you use it as a bath salt. You don't have to sit on those hard pieces of rock salt yes they oh wow really can you not imagine <laughs> <laughs> now you get to figure out what scent you would like to use how fun can i mix scents? yes you can whatever your heart desires sounds like that generation of isabella's huh <laughs> that's right <laughs> it's like their sodas at the fountain you think you found sandalwood yeah. and Lime. Lime. Oh, good combo. Good combo. Okay, now, you may have to use a little bit more of the sandalwood than the lime, but go ahead and start with 10, of e 10 drops of each. Okay? And do it right here in the center. Mm -hmm. And about the same amount on that. So you use a, a essence oil? Oil. Yeah, these are essential oils. Essential oils. And they can be used internally as well as externally. For this purpose, we're going to use it 
for bath salts. But when I make my menthol cough drops, mm -hmm. we use peppermint and tea tree oil and we use menthol flakes. Oh, menthol so, flakes. I've never even heard of menthol yeah, flakes. Yeah, they're awesome. And that helps to make for a very powerful, strong cough drop. This and, is why it's so nice to know uh, a channel such as yours. <laughs> because you learn so much. And there's innovative, creative, and old ways that you have learned from the past. Really work. That you bring to the new generations, like Isabella. Yeah. Boy, I can teach. I was told a long time ago that it's okay to talk about what you can do, but it's better to demonstrate to others what you do. Nice. That way it's teaching, it's showing, and it's giving others that knowledge that, hey, this is easy. You can buy it at the store filled with chemicals, or you can put natural ingredients in. This is coming together right be before perfect. our eyes. Like, yeah, you're... You, it's the point of demonstration right there, demonstrating. Right there, exactly. And um, how does it smell? Do you need more? I like it. You like it just like that? Mm -hmm. Well, can I smell? Go ahead. Oh, that's a good blend. Ooh, I like that. Do you guys want to smell? <laughs> yeah, smell-o-vision. Smell-o-vision. That looks, oh, super that looks cool. good. What do you think, Isabella? Fun. Aww. It's really neat to learn. Why can't you go back over to the again? I'm really neat Gifts to learn. you this jar, but you have to bring it back next time if you want to make more. Okay. I'll put that up there. And I use this. This is an antique. Oh. And I have used this so much for all my canning, and I even use it to pour my coffee in so I don't spill it everywhere. And you're going to use it for the bath salts. Okay? And all you're going to do is just go ahead and start scooping it in, darling. I have uh, two antique funnels, but mine are small, little ones. They're not like that. They're like the typical funnel. So yours might be like this one. Or yeah, but one. it's really small. It's about... Oh, a tiny metal one? Yeah, little yeah. metal one about yay tall altogether. I have a small one, tiny, well, smaller than that, and this one. And I use this a lot, too. And it's the bottom is bent. <laughs> I see you. Oh. <laughs> But I use that all the time, too. It works. Okay. Hey, we almost got it. Look at now, that. do you like that consistency, or do you need more salt? I like that consistency. Okay. So now, you can go ahead and put the lid on that. And you can use a quarter of a cup. Just put your hand in there, sprinkle it in the water, however much you'd like. A little bit. Try a little bit and see if you need more because the oil will, when you take a bath, that nice coconut oil is going to go all over your body and you're gonna, your skin will be so soft. And that's one of the big things living in the desert is you got to condition your hair, you got to condition your skin because especially out here where we are here, there's hardly any humidity right. ever. So that's why making your own bath salts help. Yesterday it was a whole 7% humidity. Yeah, whole 7%. Mm -hmm. Not much enough in there. Okay, so this is done. Look at that. So what would you call this? Is this a, like a sugar scrub? No, that's... Salt scrub? Uh, bath salt. Bath salt. Yeah, but you can use it just on your sink and... Wash your hands, and it's like you wash your hands and you've got lotion on. Your skin is really soft. And it's a good thing I'm tall because I can actually reach up and get it. That there. shelf is so <laughs> nice. I mean, I can't even get a, a, you know, camera doesn't really do justice to a lot of things, as us YouTubers know. <laughs> but this is a 
almost the full length of Susan's kitchen. It's a beautiful shelf that her son Levi had made for Susan. It's so nice. And it has helped because and living in a really small place, things just pile up and you run out of room. It's like, where am I going to put anything? Okay. Now, all we're using here is a pure cane sugar. I don't ever buy anything other than a pure cane sugar. And I'm not real worried about it being organic, although I like, for my coffee and other things, I really like the brown organic um, pure cane sugar. Oh, yes. You know, the organic brown sugar. You ever try the coconut sugar? I wasn't real impressed with it. So you didn't like it? I, I never tried it, so I wanted to see what I your thought like was. I didn't like it, and in fact, I think I ended up giving it away. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely didn't like it. Because <laughs> I didn't want to throw it away. Uh -huh. But let's try right here. Let's get, so I'll let you pour that. Let's try another cup. Now, what are we making here? Sugar scrub. Sugar, sugar scrub. scrub. And we'll see if we need more sugar in a bit. Okay, so. We're going to use a little less, <laughs> a little less amount of cocoa butter. I mean, coconut oil. And I, I, I like cocoa butter, It's but this is coconut oil. And this is all we need for this. There you go. Now you can put your food coloring on top of the oil. That'll help it mix easier. Oh, pretty. And you can you put your essential oils on top of that as well. And this is normally the way I do it. You can do the same scent, or are you just going to change your scent around? I think I'm going to change it. How do you like that one? Whoa. Is that the Clary Sage? Awesome. Good choice. Well, if you ask my opinion, I well, I definitely want... Just, now, my question, Susan, is uh, if you take something like the sage scent and you mix that with uh, sugar, does it actually make it smell sweeter? <laughs> I think so. Okay. Actually, it makes it the the sugar doesn't have a scent to it, so it's oh. still just the clary sage. Oh, okay. So it's a sugar scrub, but it smells like sage. Right, and but it it also has the coconut oil, so it'll mm, blend differently. And you, you may need to use more of the clary sage. Mix it all up really, really good. And you may end up wanting to just get your hands in there and play with yeah, it. Yeah, you can be a kid. It looks like snow. Throw in your hands. Play with it with your hands. A good ASMR right there. <laughs> the look she's giving me. Do that look again. <laughs> Check and see if you got enough scent. A stronger scent may be better with that one. Can you smell it? Barely. And yeah, that's so add a lot more scent. That bottle is probably twenty years old. Wow. Yeah. So um, the essential oils can last that long? Twenty, thirty years longer. I have and no idea. If you want to do a medicinal um, medicine bag or something along that line, what you do is you can buy a lot of essential oils a little bit here a little bit there as long as it's a good brand mm -hmm. it's going to help you help you to maintain your health or bring you back into health mm -hmm. the only problem people will go with antibiotics but the biggest problem with that is and is antibiotics you can only use once in a while clary sage would be a great great um essential oil choice for a male, for a guy. Yeah. It doesn't, it's not perfumey, flowery, any of that. Mm -hmm. It's 
it's just a good clean scent but but yeah in a in a medicinal herbal medicinal bag essential oils would be definitely a go-to you're yeah. a great teacher susan these make great gifts for your friends uh, family it's it's a sweet little gift just don't store it in plastic oh. the essential oils the plastic absorbs the scent okay so don't oh so then it'll plastic. take the scent away Mm -hmm. Okay. It does. And it'll just smell like sugar or just smell like salt. We don't want that. No. <laughs> okay. So you like this? And go ahead and let's put it in. Now, the sugar scrub is, I think I explained it, but, you know, there's really not much nutritional or medicinal purpose behind sugar uh, for a scrub but it comes in really handy um, for when you take a shower it's it's not going to burn burn your skin at all so if you have very sensitive skin mm -hmm. this would be a great way to go okay yeah and because it's a we all know what sugar feels like. It's a nice little soft scrub. You know what? I probably should get you another big jar, huh, hon? Let me get you a big jar. I'll be right back. <laughs> you like that one, too? Yeah. Which one do you like better? Do you have a preference? Probably like both of them just the same, I like right? this one better. And that one's the bath scrub? That's bath salt. That's salt. Okay. Okay, I think you like both. It's got the good coconut oil in it. And it, let me know if it, if it, if you go home and put food coloring in it, if it does color it up, it should. But I know mine, I think they were leaking and I just got rid of them because I never really used them. So Susan, um, uh... I know one thing, one thing that you value very much is making memories. And uh, as I sit here uh, making this video, uh, as we're getting to know each other, I can see through my viewfinder here, you and Isabella making this scrub and uh, this bath salt. And I'm thinking of the wonderful memories and how people can learn from this video. Exactly. I don't think Isabella's ever going to forget her first time making a bath salt or a sugar scrub. That's some bragging rights for an 11-year-old, yeah. I say. Yeah. <laughs> she made this all by herself on her own, and now she knows how to do it, and that is easy. 